every country is different and every country's laws are different. Sometimes these laws border on the seriously ridiculous and other times they point to important cultural values that might be different than your own. Globally, laws change from the weird and wonderful to the downright peculiar. We've compiled a list of some of the weird laws around the world that you may not believe exist. But when you're traveling, you certainly don't want to wind up behind bars. But before we reveal these bizarre laws, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to our channel. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so you're always updated whenever we have new uploads. Here are some of the craziest laws that exist all over the world. Canadian radio stations must play Canadian artists. The Canadians are a patriotic bunch, so much so that all Canadian radio stations are required by law to play Canadian artists on the airways at least 35% of the time, especially during the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m., Monday through Friday. This means that in an hour of radio during the work week, you'll hear more than 20 minutes of artists like Nickelback, Alanis Morissette, Celine Dion, Michael Bublé, and Justin Bieber, all of whom are proud Canucks. Milan in Italy states that it is a legal requirement to smile at all times except at funerals or hospitals. Why the long face? In Milan, the law compels you to smile. It is prescribed by a city regulation from Austro-Hungarian times that was never repealed. Exemptions include funeral goers, hospital workers, and those at the bedside of an ill family member. For everybody else, there is no excuse for being glum, the alternative being a fine. This has got to be one of the weirdest laws of all. It's illegal to feed pigeons in Venice. With thousands of pigeons descending upon St. Mark's Square in Venice, lured by the tourists readily handing out food in exchange for Instagram-worthy photos, Venice lawmakers officially made it illegal to feed those pesky fowls in 2008. It is said the cleanup from the birds cost each citizen 275 euros per year, so now the tables are turned. If you're caught feeding the pigeons, you could face fines of up to 700 euros. Better to get the perfect picture shot of Venice's beautiful bridges instead. In Scotland, if someone knocks on your door and requires the use of your toilet, you must let them enter. Yes, this means that by law, if you need the toilet, you can suggest it is illegal for them to deny you the use of their toilet. However, this law is questionable, as how can we suggest people should let just anybody into their home? This law has made many lists of the most absurd laws, but I could not find any context behind this peculiar law. Australia's second most populated state says it's illegal to change a light bulb unless you are a licensed electrician. Under Victorian law, changing a light bulb without a valid license to do so was against the law. Taking your light into your own hands brought a fine of 10 Australian dollars. However, a revision to the 1998 Electricity Safety Act updated this law. A spokeswoman for the Energy Safe Victoria said that while the Energy Safety Act makes it illegal to do your own electrical work, if you are not licensed, changing a light bulb and removing a plug from a socket were specifically exempted from this requirement under Order in Council G17. If you own any chickens in Quitman, Georgia, it is illegal to let them cross the road. Simply put, the law essentially wants owners to have their chickens under control at all times. This makes sense when you imagine the danger of letting farm animals run about, but, but the specificity of the law about not allowing chickens to cross the road rings true to the joke and makes for a funny read. Georgia likes to ensure the safety and sacredness of their chicken, as in Gainesville, Georgia, you have to eat fried chicken with your bare hands. Keep your forks away from them. The law describes chicken as a culinary delicacy sacred to its municipality. Perhaps this is why chicken deserves a specific transport safety law. It's illegal to wear high heels to the Acropolis. When packing for a trip to Greece, make sure you have the right shoes. The country banned high heels at the Acropolis in 2009, so no stilettos at the Parthenon. Not sure why anybody would want to make a trek around the ruins in dirt in heels. Surely it's tough to walk and will damage the shoes, but the Greeks put this ban in place to protect its ruins from damage caused by the sharp shoes. The ruins are nearly 2,500 years old. So be respectful and wear some soft-soled shoes when you visit. Men must wear Speedos on French beaches. 
Do you think the French just really like their Speedos? Actually, it's French law that men do not wear loose-fitting swim trunks on beaches, swimming pools, and other public places where a swimsuit is required attire. The law wasn't for safety, but rather that men wouldn't dare walk around town in a Speedo, so if he wears a Speedo in the water, it surely would be cleaner than something he may have been wearing all day long. This need to avoid clothing that could have been worn throughout the day also extends to t-shirts. You'll need to lose those as fast as your surfer shorts. It's illegal to ride a cow drunk in Scotland. Before you get any crazy ideas and have too much Scottish whiskey, you should know that you could get a ticket for drunk cow riding. Technically, the full 1872 law mandates people not be drunk when in charge of a cow, horse, carriage, or steam engine. In case you were wondering, the same law states you cannot have a loaded firearm on you while drunk as well. We have to admit, that's a pretty good rule. No selfies with Buddha in Sri Lanka. When you take a selfie with Buddha, you are turning your back on him. Tis tis. This is a sign of disrespect and is punishable by imprisonment in Sri Lanka. It is also considered disrespectful to point your finger at Buddha. And sometimes there are bans on taking photos with the statues. Although not illegal to have tattoos of Buddha, a British woman was jailed for three days in 2014 for inappropriate tattoos of the man 70% of Sri Lanka's feel is a prophet and avatar of the god Vishnu. Be polite and cover tattoos. Respect no photography signs and don't turn your back on him. It's illegal to be shirtless in Barcelona. In an effort to keep the streets of Barcelona free of beachgoers and bikinis and men going shirtless, lawmakers in the Spanish town on the Mediterranean banned anyone from being topless or in a swimsuit in public anywhere but the beach or the pool. Passed in 2011, fines for walking around half naked could cost you up to 260 euros. No shirt, no shoes, no service. It's illegal to swear in the UAE. In the Muslim United Arab Emirates, Swearing could get you fined, jailed, or deported. Under Article 373 of the UAE Penal Code, swearing disgraces the honor or the modesty of a person. This isn't just for saying the inappropriate words aloud. It includes indecent physical gestures and extends to your text messages and social media as well. Not even indecent emojis are allowed. Earlier this year, the British Express reported a man sent an angry message to a car dealer who seemingly did him wrong. He was threatened with three weeks of jail for his choice of words. If you have a potty mouth, be sure it's in check before you visit. The French town of Saprouens makes it a legal requirement to have bought a burial plot before dying. Some issues were had in this French town with people wantingly dying and then expecting to be buried. The mayor issued an edict forbidding people from dying within the city limits unless they had previously purchased a plot in a local cemetery. People who die anyway will be severely punished. What kind of punishment you give the dead, however, is as of yet unclear. It's illegal to reincarnate without permission in China. Tibetan Buddhist monks are not allowed to reincarnate after they die unless they have been granted permission from the government. We're not sure how they enforce this, but China is known for having some strict laws. Married women can only have one glass of wine in Bolivia. If you're a single woman in La Paz, Bolivia, drink up. But if you are married, it's just one glass of wine for you. This sexist law is due to the belief that alcohol may make a woman more immoral. A husband could actually divorce her if she is drinking in public. Parliament's famous Salmon Act of 1986 states that it's illegal to hold salmon under suspicious circumstances. Section 32 of the Salmon Act 1986 stipulates that it is an offense to handle salmon under suspicious circumstances. This section creates an offense in England and Wales for any person who receives or disposes of any salmon in circumstances where they believe or could reasonably believe that the salmon had been illegally fished. The maximum penalty is two years imprisonment. The context may well make the law less weird, but even so, suspiciously holding salmon is a pretty funny offense to be arrested for. Aren't these rules crazy or what? Which of these are your favorite ones and why? you know any other laws that are as bizarre as these? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Idea Haven.